Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the weekly Outside Views report on German politics. Before the Prime Minister's conference uh, that happened, the Liberal Parliamentary Secretary Stefan Tome rejected state demands for more money for refugees. Reflexively demanding more and more money from the federal government is not a long-term solution, as Tome said on Wednesday. First and foremost, faster and more effective repatriations can provide relief in the refugee situation, he said. In his opinion, the federal states should create more places in custody pending deportation and the municipalities should strengthen their immigration authorities. The federal government could also expand the competences of the federal police in order to optimize processes for deportations. On Thursday in Berlin, the state, uh, the heads of state discussed, among other things, the distribution of refugees and the financing of the accommodations. Several states had recently signaled that they and the municipalities were reaching their limits in view of the increasing number of refugees. A federal state summit on refugee costs is planned for May 10th. According to a survey, two-thirds of Germans with 67% are against the Europe-wide end for new vehicles with combustion engines from 2035. On the other hand, one in four with 25% is in favor of it, as the Deutschland trend in uh, public television revealed. The highest level of approval is among younger and formerly higher educated voters. However, the EU project only has a majority among supporters of the Green Party. Negotiators from the European Parliament and the EU member states had agreed in autumn that only emission-free new cars may be registered in the EU from 2035. However, Germany is urging that new cars with combustion engines that use artificial fuels produced with green electricity, so-called e-fuels, be permitted even after this. The German government has expressed reservations about Poland's announcement that it intends to hand over four MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine. A government spokesman said on Friday in Berlin that if it were about aircraft that Germany had a say in, it would have to wait and see if there was an application. So far, there isn't one. Poland's President Andrzej Duda had said that the Polish Air Force currently has about a dozen MiG-29s, which were taken over from the stocks of the GDR in the early 1990s. Due to a so-called end-use clause, Poland is only allowed to pass on the jets to Ukraine with the consent of the federal government. Just start building, the others won't mind. Well, apartment owners shouldn't let that happen, otherwise, in the worst case, they'll have to undo everything. For a good two years, there has been a so-called compulsory decision before structural changes to community property. And the courts cannot turn a blind eye here, as the Federal Court of Justice made it clear in a first judgment on Friday. In the case from uh, Bremen, the owners of a semi-detached house had started building a pool in their part of the garden without any consultation. The neglected neighbor defended themselves against this in court and was successful with her injunctive uh, relief in the last instance. In view of the shortage of skilled workers in Germany, Federal Interior Minister Nancy Faeser and Labour Minister Hubertus Heil, both from the Social Democrats, want to find out more about immigration law in Canada. On the trip from this Sunday to Tuesday to Ottawa and Toronto, there will be talks with representatives of the Canadian government and regions, as the two ministries announced on Friday in Berlin. The federal government is currently preparing a new skilled labor immigration law for Germany, which, according to FASA, is to be launched soon. More workers from abroad are to be won, among other things, with easier recognition and new opportunity cards. FASA called Canada a role model from which we want to learn. On-site visits to a service agency for immigrants and to companies are also planned. Criticism of the goals of the trip came from the union faction. 
the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution, together with the South Korean Secret Service, warns of a cyber espionage group called Kimsuki. The group is also known as Velvet Chumilla or Talium and operates worldwide, as the German Domestic Secret Service said on Monday in Cologne. During cyber attacks, the attackers captured information including internal strategy papers from foreign ministries and documents with research and expert knowledge. In addition to academic and diplomatic goals, the hackers also target non-governmental organizations and think tanks. A minimum tax for large companies in Germany is approaching. Companies with sales of more than 750 million should pay at least 15% from next year. This emerges from a new draft law by the Federal Ministry of Finance to introduce the planned global minimum tax, which was presented to the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung on Tuesday. According to the German press agency, additional tax revenue in the low single-digit billion range per year is roughly estimated for Germany. In 21, the EU and the US, along with around 130 other countries, agreed on an ambitious international tax reform to prevent corporate profits from being shifted to tax havens. The core was the global minimum tax of 15% for large companies, regardless of their location. In the long-running coalition dispute over faster motorway construction, the Social Democrats insist on a compromise. Group Vice Detlef Müller told the German press agency before meeting of the coalition leaders planned for Sunday that there was a consensus on how to accelerate planning for the expansion of wind power and important rail transport projects. The areas of road and shipping have not been clarified. For the Social Democrat parliamentary group, there are also projects in these areas that are of paramount importance because they lead to crucial improvements at neuralgic points of the respective transport routes, he said. There has long been a dispute in the coalition about speeding up planning. Federal Transport Minister Volker Wissing from the Liberals wants motorways, so the Autobahn, to be built more quickly in addition to new railway lines and bridges. The Greens rejected, and there was already a debate about concentrating on so-called bottleneck projects. In the dispute over the EU's planned ban on international in, internal combustion engines in new cars from uh, 35 I mentioned earlier, German Finance Minister Christian Lindner has criticized his French colleague Bruno Le Maire. It is very unfortunate that the French government is announcing a showdown to ban the internal combustion engine, said the Liberal chairman to the Funke Media Group and the French newspaper Ouest France. My friend Bruno Le Maire knows very well that mobility by car could become increasingly expensive for many hard-working people. We have to t take these concerns seriously, he said. Le Maire had criticized German resistance to the planned EU ban. The federal government is skeptical about the EU's circulating plans to relax regulations for genetically modified plants. The efforts of the EU Commission to weaken the risk assessment for plants that are produced with new genomic techniques are going in the wrong direction, said a spokesman for the Federal Environment Ministry when asked by the German press agency. At Austria's request, the topic is on the agenda at the meeting of EU Environment Ministers this Thursday in Brussels. The Federal Environment Ministry emphasized that the current broad discussion process on the subject is to be welcomed. With a view to Germany's security, Federal President Frank-Walter Steinmeier does not consider an increase in the defense budget to be sufficient. Investing in our own security not only means expanding the budget in the German general budget, but above all, it also means making a greater effort to contribute to the security of the NATO area as a whole, is what Steinmeier said on Tuesday during a visit by his Czech counterpart Petr Pavel at the Belvelu Palace in Berlin. 
Having a local presence protects you from getting involved in the war yourself. With its attacks on Ukraine, Russia shattered the peace order in Europe, said Steinmeier. He and his Czech counterpart are convinced that this should not pay off. An important challenge is to maintain unity within the EU and NATO. The Greens in the Bundestag insist on more rapid progress in natural climate protection in Germany. That means in storing CO2 in soil and plants. More forests and bodies of water must be healthy and clean so that they can bind CO2 and at the same time promote biodiversity, said parliamentary group leader Britta Hasselmann to the German press agency. The Greens MPs had decided on a paper on the subject on Tuesday during their exam in Weimar and Thuringia. It also harbors other sources of conflict, especially in dealing with the coalition partner FDP, the Liberals. And this concludes this week's report on German politics. You'll find the next report on another area right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.